Good evening, everyone. How amazing to see so many friends, Make-A-Wish supporters, artists, gallerists, auction houses. I am truly blessed and honored. It means the world to me. It is such an honor to be hosting an event for a charity that is so dear to my heart. I hope you're all having a great time. I first became involved with Make-A-Wish almost a decade ago when I first saw the impact that fulfilling a wish for a sick child can have on their lives. And let me tell you, it is nothing short of magical. We bring these children optimism, hope, and strength at the time when they need it most. When their lives are in total mayhem, days in and out of hospital, going through horrible, treatments. When we meet them, we say to them, you know what? The thing that you wanted most in this world can actually be achieved. When they suddenly realize that the impossible can become possible, well, they think to themselves, well, if this can become true, well, why can't I win the battle for my life? This is a true transformational moment. I've seen the faces of these children before and after. I mean, I've been on these wishes and seen them just before and after their wish. And sometimes it's like looking at a totally different child. Unfortunately, I know too well what losing a loved one can do to a family. I've lost my youngest sister, Sharon, when she was only 26 years old. Although she wasn't a child, when I first became acquainted with Make-A-Wish, I thought to myself, how easier it would have been to deal with her loss had we done something together for her as a family, something special just for her, just before she passed away. When somebody loses a young family member, the family still needs to go on. And knowing that they were able to give this child a few moments of sheer happiness and bliss can sometimes mean the world to them. However, this is not what's really important about Make-A-Wish. I mean, this is important, but what's really unique about Make-A-Wish is the fact that fulfilling a wish for a sick child can actually improve their chances of survival. And we have proved that through research. And today, some children oncologists will actually include it as part of the treatment program. I mean, guys, can you believe it? That Children oncologists will tell the Make-A-Wish people when is the right time to come in and give that child this optimism and strength that they need to make them carry on. Imagine a child going through horrible, horrible treat treatments, reaching the stage in their life where they simply no longer want to go on. And then someone, suddenly somebody comes to them and says, well, we have George Mendes here, so I'll say somebody comes to them and says, you know what, in three months' time, you're going to meet Ronaldo, your lifetime hero. In three months' time, you're going to meet him. You know, the, can you understand the power of this? The power that this has over a sick child that knows that when he finishes his chemo treatment, he will meet his lifetime hero. How much strength and optimism it gives them? I've seen it firsthand, and let me tell you, it is life transformational. I couldn't be speaking, sorry, sorry. When we conceived the idea for tonight's event about 18 months ago, I could hardly imagine we would be standing here surrounded by such beautiful pieces of art. I mean, guys, except for the Jeff Koons, which is an unbelievable piece for the live auction, a, a whole lot, and the Thomas Truth, every single work here has been created by an artist who took their time to read the wishes that I sent them. They were inspired, they each chose a wish for inspiration and made these works based on the inspiration that they received. I mean, how touching is that? And how beautiful are these works? If I could, I would have every single one of them at home. You done? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, seriously, all these, wish, all these works are on the silent auction and whoever leaves with one is a really lucky winner. 
And fortunately, we are very fortunate to have some of these artists with us tonight. We have Matthew, we have Polly, we have Stefan, we have Joshua. I'm eternally grateful to each and single one of you for taking the time, I mean really. I mean, all of you have been so amazing in creating these works. You took time out of your busy schedules to create works especially for this auction. And of course, I'm also thankful to the artists who are not with us tonight. How unique and special are all of your creations. I would also like to thank the gallerists, the auction houses, and everyone in the art world who came along and joined us on this project. When I started this mission, this project, 18 months ago. Do you know that there's not one single in the art, one single person in the art world that actually said no to me? And I don't think it's because of me. I think it's because these stories of these children are so amazing and so touching that just everyone wanted to be part of this unique project. These stories are what got me involved with Make-A-Wish in the first place. And that's what I wanted you all to see tonight. When you look at these works and read the stories that inspire them, I hope you're just as touched as I was when I first became involved with Make-A-Wish. We all have children, nephews, nieces, and I think that I speak for all of us when I say that seeing a child suffer is inconceivable. And we are all fortunate enough to be able to give these children hope, strength, and optimism when they need it most. And as far as I'm concerned, we're actually giving them weapons to fight for their lives. I couldn't be talking this evening without thanking my amazing team. First of all, my amazing committee members. May I ask you all to stand up for a minute, please. an incredible journey. I thank you all for your dedication, for your support, for being there for me every step of the way. It's been a true honor to work with every single one of you. I would also like to thank, sorry, I would also like to thank Hans and Jana. Jana, you are here, and Hans, for hosting such an amazing preview yesterday. I mean, we had around 250 people come for the brunch, and another 300 people come through the day just to come and look at these works at the Serpentine. Thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. I would like to thank Erica and Nina for being so generous with your time. I mean, I applaud you both. It, you've been amazing. I would like to thank Melanie and Henry for coming along and leading the auction for tonight and Tanya and Kat, and the entire Make-A-Wish team, who've worked endlessly to make this night a reality. And Cartier, our sponsor of this evening, our incredible sponsor. It was such an amazing journey to work with all of you. I've learned so much. Laurent, I honestly couldn't have hoped for a better partner. And finally, to my dear husband, who's busy talking right now, <laughs> not listening to my speech. <laughs> my dear husband, Idan, and our wonderful children. Thank you for being. Thank you for being so supportive, so patient, and just so understanding throughout the process. And to my amazing parents who are here as well, I would like to say thank you. <laughs> And now, we will watch three amazing children. We will watch Grace, who inspired Tracy's wish, sorry, Tracy's works. Um, 
Grace wanted to ride her pony along the beach, and it inspires Tracy's three works on the wall over there. Uh, we will also watch Ollie the Jedi and Amy the Ballerina, which inspired works by Rob Prout and by Gillian Waring. I hope that when you look at these stories, you see the transformational power of a wish. All proceeds from tonight's event, and thanks to Cartier, I mean, everything that will be raised tonight will actually go to fulfill wishes. So all proceeds for tonight's event will go to fulfill more wishes for children with life-threatening conditions. Unfortunately, each year we have more and more requests. We always hope that there will be no more sick children, but unfortunately, that's not the reality that we live in. So all money raised tonight will really make a difference. Each and every single one of you tonight here, every single one person that's in the room tonight, can change a child's life. And you can do so in two ways. By either being a successful bidder on either the silent or live auction, or by filling the pledge cards on your table. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.